Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Ham Radio 2.0, live from the Ham Shack. My name's Jason. I'm KC5HWB. Today, we're going to be looking at the Baofeng Tech UV5X3. This is a new tri-band from Baofeng Tech, which is a U.S. distributor of Baofeng radios. This guy looks like a UV5R, but it incorporates 220 along with the 2 meter and 440 bands. So it is a tri-band radio. It's not dual band 2 meter 220 or dual band 220 440, which you can get some Baofeng. Uh, the UV82X is a dual band 2 meter 220. So Baofeng's had some two, 220 stuff for a while, but this is the first tri-band HT that uh, that I've ever seen. And, and again, it's exclusively available from baofengtech.com. So let's take a look at this radio and I hope you enjoy the uh, the video review. Here we have the BTEC UV5X3 out of the box. Now this is the this is the radio and I've got this extended antenna on it that you can see here which is a Nagoya tri-band antenna. And it's a 15-16 inch antenna. I bought it along with the radio the manual in there. It's kind of an unboxing and testing at the same time. This antenna that comes with it says it's a dual band. So it only comes with a dual band antenna, or at least this antenna is marked dual band. It's marked 136 to 174 and 400 to 520 right there on the end of the antenna. So it does not come, or at least this one didn't come. I thought it came with two antennas. One a single antenna for 220 and then this dual band antenna. But it does come with their, an earpiece. That's nice. And then it comes with the, the manual, of course. And it's a pretty thick manual. Well, the English on it looks pretty good, really. The power on message can only be set via computer link. See the section called computer programming for details on how to set up a link with your computer. There you go. But this is, just like you would expect a Baofeng radio to be. We're going to test. There's a local 440 machine. KC5 HWB testing. There we go. Okay, thanks for the test. KC5 HWB. Okay, so we've got that there. Now, to program, one thing I've never done, I have never done a video on how to program a Baofeng radio. Now, some of you be, may be like, ah, oh, who cares? But there are people out there who actually are, would be interested in a, in a video on how to program a Baofeng radio. So, here's how you do it. What we do is we set our frequency here. So, I'm going to set the frequency... Four, four, two, nine, zero, zero. Okay, once you set your frequency... Hit your menu key, menu, menu, and we're going to page up to transmit T-CTCSS, which is transmit CTCSS tone. C -C -S -S. And you can go in here and set your PL tone to whatever you want. You only need to set the transmit, usually. If you need a receive tone, you do it on the RCTCS menu, which is menu 11 on this radio. But usually transmits enough. And then you page up and you go to SFT-D, which is going to be your plus or minus, or off. You'd, it'd be off for simplex. So we're on 440, so we're going to do plus. And then we go to offset. And we do the offset direction, or the offset frequency. Exit. And that's all you need. I'm not keying that repeater, it's too far away. That's all you do to program a Baofeng radio. And then you can go in here to the menu and you can set it to a specific channel. If the if the CH is not in front of it, that means the channel is blank. If the CH is in front of it, that means the channel is there. So you'll have to exit out and go up to delete channel. And then it takes away that CH in front there. You can see that. Make sure you're in uh, frequency mode when you're doing this. So we will go into delete channel 8 then we'll go into memory channel take that in there put that in there and 8 and there you go it's still not saving the offset it's saving everything else it's keying up the PL tone and it's keying up the right frequency but it's not saving the offset for some reason so it may be kind of a bug in the Baofeng radio I don't know I looked it up online and I talked to the Baofeng tech guys and apparently there's a trick to tra to uh, saving offsets in memory which some of you pro probably already know this in fact once I read it I was like oh yeah that's right I forgot you had to do that I, it's been a long time since I've done it but we're going to go through it again here so what we did earlier is, was we saved channel 7 
well, I've, I've already updated channel 7, so we're going to go to channel 8. 442.900 on the top band there. So when I key up KC5 HWB, you'll notice that the offset doesn't change, and of course nothing comes back to me because I'm not keying the repeater. So what happens is that you have to you have to save, you have to write the receive frequency into memory, and then you have to write this transmit frequency into memory separately. So apparently this is common for bail fangs. Again, it's just been a long time since I've programmed one manually. Chirp works on these, so usually I just write a chirp file to them. But this is how to do it manually, which is totally doable. It's not that hard. So what we want to do, go in here and turn your offset to zero and your shift direction off would be advisable. And then you want to do this from the top band. So you see what we're on channel eight right now with the eight on the far right there and we're at 442.900. We want to transmit on 447.900. So I'm going to go back into VFO mode and go 447. Just like that. And my CTCSS should be already set, but let's double check that. Yep. Transmit CTCSS is a 110.9, which is exactly correct. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go back into the menu, go to the same. Actually, let's turn that off. Looks like in VFO mode, I'm still set to the offset of 1.6, which is the offset for 220. Offset frequency. Confirm. Okay, so we're going to go there. And then we're going to go channel 8 is where I want to go. Uh, menu. Memory channel. 8. Transmitting memory. Okay. Now it should be saved with the, uh, the correct offset. We're still in VFO mode here. There we go. In channel 8, you see the plus and minus above the 442.900 now. KC5 HWB testing. So I'm I'm not keying that repeater. That repeater's a little bit farther away than the than this one is. But you can see the plus and minus, and when I keyed up, you saw the offset go. 447.900. KC5 HWB testing. Throwing my call sign out, but I'm not keying the repeater. But I am transmitting, so legally I should be throwing my call sign out. Using it next to the uh, the Waxon UV8 Echo, it does not receive quite as well in my experience. But the UV8 Echo's kind of got some birdies in it to where sometimes when you key up on a 440 machine, it'll squawk on the two meter on the 220 side, or vice versa. So the UV8 Delta dual band version of the Waxon was much more stable, much more solid. The UV8 Echo, I kind of think they need some firmware updates. For 65 bucks, you can't really complain. Thanks to the folks out at Baofeng Tech, really nice group of guys out there. I've traded some emails with them. They've allowed me to post reviews of their radios and been very helpful and very forthcoming with information about them. In fact, when I contacted them the first time, they were like, oh yeah, we watched a couple of your videos. So they, they'd heard of my channel. This is 73 guys, you guys have a good evening. We will talk at you next time. This is KC5HWB with Ham Radio 2.0. I will be QRT.